In this problem, we have a big, messy polynomial here with high powers of the variable, and we're being asked to factor it completely. So I think the first thing I do in approaching a problem like this is look at each of the terms and ask, is there anything that they have in common that I can uh, divide out right away? And I see that they're all divisible by 2, so I could factor out a 2. And actually, they all have w at least to the third power. So I could factor out a 2 w to the third. So that's what I'll do first. That's my first factor, third. And if I factor out a 2w to the third from this, I divide by 2w to the third. That just leaves w squared. If I do that to the middle term, I get 12w. And if I do that to the last term, I get 36. So that's step one. And what I notice here is that I have a quadratic. And I think I can factor that. Um, so when we factor a quadratic, we end up with these two binomials. Since the leading coefficient is just 1 here, I can put w and w. Everything's positive, so these are going to be plus. And then the numbers that go in have to multiply out to 36 and add up to 12. That's not too tough. 6 times 6 is 36, and 6 plus 6 adds up to 12. So there are my factors. So this is factored completely. When you present the answer, though, you might want to um, just sh show this as w plus 6 squared. So you might write the answer as 2w to the third times w plus 6 squared. So that is a little bit of work with factoring.